Storm Team 7 Forecast First, sponsored by Furniture Warehouse Showroom. And a very good Wednesday evening, everyone. It was a cloudy day. It was a cool day. We had some showers around. And now, as we take a look at our temperatures, we're looking at a mixture of 60s and low 70s, which is where we've been most of the day across the upstate and the mountains. We're watching showers move towards Charlotte, but we are dry in the upstate and western North Carolina. We expect to stay that way overnight with mostly cloudy skies as our overnight lows fall to the 60s in the upstate and the mountains. Our weather pattern change is starting tomorrow. We'll take a look at what that means as we head into your weekend coming up in our forecast 7 News at 7 starts right now. Now on 7 News at 7 an update on schools what one upstate district says some options are for students next year. The July 4th festivities that would normally take place here at Barnett Park have been canceled this year. I'll tell you why and how it may impact the area coming up. Developing baseball season delayed. We take a closer look at the economic impact for our area. As restrictions are lifted more people are heading to the airport. Learn what you'll need to know if you plan to fly. Live and local for Carolina's family. 7 News at 7 starts now. And just into the 7 Newsroom tonight, South Carolina's Department of Health Director Rick Toomey says he will resign effective June the 10th. Toomey cited personal and health reasons for this decision. We're told the board has accepted his resignation. Meantime, Tropical Storm Bertha made its way through parts of South Carolina today. Tracking the path of that storm is meteorologist Malachi Rogers. All right, Gordon and Amy, it was a tropical storm briefly as it made landfall along the South Carolina coast early this morning.